we just found inside of a uh, ditch here in the Metro Louisville area. This is a really big one. Yeah. This is probably the biggest one we've seen in a while. In a while. Pretty good size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. Mm -hmm. Well, first snake in western Kentucky, or this is a nice gravid female cottonmouth found just under a bridge. She's pretty. There she goes. She's flashing her mouth at us. These are really, really misunderstood snakes, and uh. A lot of people kill them just because uh, of the reputation. These also uh, eat uh, other snakes. They'll eat almost anything they can overpower, including dead stuff on the road, uh, like dead frogs that have gotten squished or almost anything. But really nice. We've only been here for maybe, what, two minutes? Yeah, uh, we just got out of the car and uh, we actually came down here to this spot find cottonmouth and there's also uh, opportunity for uh, diamondback water snakes to get pretty big here yeah so yeah and this snake looks gravid also mm -hmm. so she should be dropping her babies any any day at this point yeah it's pretty cool second cottonmouth for today this one is very big. Very big. Big adult male looks like by the way the tail looks. Definitely doesn't have the gravid body look that other female had. Uh, very nice snake. This one's definitely more defensive than that female. Which is normally the opposite way. Normally the males are more uh, flight than fight. Uh, but the females are normally the ones that are uh, more defensive I'd say. This is definitely a big male. Doing a really nice... Trap jaw. Yeah. Really nice threat display. Uh, really cool looking snake but we're also gonna take this one to go get pictures like we did that female and uh we'll video again whenever we uh, find something else but yeah two cotton mouths so far today here is the second cotton mouth this one is very eager to display his defensive uh side you can see where that that name cotton mouth comes from whenever they throw a what's called trap jaw you know, it's called trap jaw because it's like literally, you know, a trap. You put your finger in there, or your foot, you might get bit. But uh, snake's pretty tolerant. Uh, he's not aggressive at all. He's just defensive. Super defensive. Obviously, there's two giants standing above him, taking his picture and getting video. But yeah, second cottonmouth, Hopkins County, uh, Achistrodon piscivorus. This is the western cottonmouth. Uh, we got a few more counties to hit later going further west So yeah Heck yeah, two cotton mouths Hopkins County All right, so we've already found two cotton mouth and right here. I don't know if you can see them, but there are I Can't tell but yeah, those are it's two cotton mouth breeding. and they are breeding right now in the in the late August here pretty wild yeah they're definitely breeding all right cool here, here, here. all right this is the fifth cotton mouth we just got done looking at those that pair breeding and then this one is just a few feet away it could have been a male that combated with the other one uh, or maybe it was waiting for something I don't I'm not really sure but this one was just sitting a few feet away and it was one that was not busy with that female Female was definitely more of a black color, really pretty snake. Wish she wasn't breeding at the moment, but this male will definitely do. Uh, really, really pretty snake. This one is very, very hot. And uh, this is a partially cloudy day, so the sun's been off and on, so the road isn't too warm, but still not bad. <laughs> definitely really cool, fifth cotton mouth for the day. Uh, we're gonna get some pictures of this guy and uh, keep on moving. Here's a eastern milk snake. Found inside the wedge of a rock. This one's definitely deep in shed, but that's pretty cool to see him using this uh, very large concrete rock building. Pretty neat to see. We're gonna see if we can actually get him out or find another one. 
Yep, here's a nice copperhead crossing the road. This one's a really nice one. I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of him with my good camera. See if you can get him to hold still, Dustin. I'll be right back. This is the second copperhead for tonight. This one's a really, really pretty one. Uh, really spicy, this one is. Really nice looking snake. This one is a lot more uh, imp to strike than the last one. But yeah, we're gonna keep on cruising and see what else we can find. The pygmy we was looking for, but there is a little decay snake crossing the road. Oh man, that would've been, that would've been killer. Really nice, we, haven't, we actually haven't really seen any one of these this year, have we? I think we found one other one. Really nice, little decay snake. First one for the year actually for us. Oh yeah, you're right, we did find one in, on Dixie Highway. Yeah. I forgot. Really cool. Let's just set him off. Live to see another day, guys. Okay, that one up there. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks really nice. It's got an elevated rock. A lot of times, you'll have a lot of snakes. They like to rest with their heads at 45 degrees. They really like that fall space. Yeah. Well, hopefully we get one today. Copperhead, that's a nice one. Look at it. That is pretty. What yeah. if we can get a can see two. picture of that snake? I got the metal. Can you think you can break those branches, Phil? He's uh -oh. starting to move. I'm going to give it a shot. Well, I don't want to get too close. I'm going to drop this metal down toward you. Yeah. I'm going to turn it off and snake. I'll get more picture later. Yep. Here's a first copperhead of today. Yeah, it's been a. Really nice looking one. This one's really high banded. Very, very cool. Looks to be a uh, a male, I believe. That tail looks kind of thick and long. It's holding still for us. Might actually get a few more pictures of this animal, but really nice copperhead found today. The grab. With the blue as well. Oh goodness. That's too bad. Yeah, this is a male. Nice big blue king. Two more to go, Phil. Yep. Beautiful snake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see that belly. Pretty good looking. Yep. Go that ahead and put nice him down. Snake. First king of the site. This is going to be all single. It was good, yeah. It was good. Looks like you might have got some milk about here. Big shell. Here's a little frog. You're going to get no milk and still watch this whole piece. Maybe up there. You would. Yeah. Oh, we took the rock. Oh, we didn't see garbage before, though. Yeah, the pole, and there's the rock pile. Now, we need to find out. It's going to be really serious. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't been here for a very long time. King. Racer. Oh, it's a racer. Racer. Black racer. racer. In shed. It's blue. Okay, yeah. snake. It's a snake. Yep. He's right here behind us. Ow, god dang it. I don't see him tall. Hold on. Okay. I do not see anybody. Right. Tom right behind you. He's there. Well, he's in back here. Driving around. Fucking see that there. Hunters or something, probably. Watch out and pull it. Yeah, I'm going to put these tongues here so. You want to go to the left a little more? Something to get away. Nope. Looks 
really good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check them out, Rosie. That's the first marble that we've seen in years. Nope. Well, he's gone, but. He took off. Well, that was fast. Those new scales? I don't even know if they were the last week or not. They were last time they were Milk. Oh, I'm sure it's the best glue. It's a snake, though. Oh, he's rough, buddy. Yeah. Look at that neck area. He needs a good shed, don't he? Yeah, he sure does. His mouth's wide open, too. Yeah, maybe with this humidity will help it out. Yeah. Well, well, cool. Good some poop, maybe. He's a killer. Oh, racer. Oh, there's got a snake. Kaluber Constrictor. Yeah. Not snakeless. No, yeah, good deal. Take what we can get here. Deal. A good looking one. Alright. I'll just get ready to see it. I'm sure I like these things. Yeah, man. A bag? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's uh, temporarily. Yeah, that's a good photo. Tenderize this snake. Video. Here we go with the uh, land propeltus triangulum. We're on a wooded, uh, wooded forest here on the edge of a field. And, uh, this is what we came up with. Looks like a male. Here's something we find with these uh, eastern milk snakes here. Um, every one of them, in Kentucky here at least, are missing a few inches of their tail. And Phil thinks it's uh, shed related. Maybe uh, it's getting caught up there at the end and cutting circulation off to the snake. And over time that tip falls off. But uh, a nice snake. It's been uh, cloudy all day and muggy as hell. But uh, second milk of the day. First one uh, wasn't very good looking. But this one's decent. It's not blue. It's just not very not very attractive. But nonetheless, a snake. So, yeah, here you go. There's the eraser. Yeah. The eraser. He's gone. We're so fast. Hence the name racer. Yeah. There's a garter snake. Garter snake. Right there. Oh. Good eye. Oh man. Nice crib. I mean, let's uh, temporarily put this guy. Barely seen that. Yeah, let's uh, temporarily restrain this. We'll get some pictures and let it go. Yeah. Cool. Good eye, Dustin. Yep. Barely seen that stripe. I didn't see it. Yeah. Another fence lizard. Tiny little thing. Seen a couple of hog nose. I see at least one rat. Copperhead, yeah. right there. See him there? Right yep, there. Right there, sure enough. First snake on this side. Yeah, yeah, well that's a good shot at least. Nice cob red. Uh, that one looks like a female, but I don't think it's grabbed anymore. I don't think it's giving birth either. <coughs> you gonna get any pictures? The rock's not movable, is it? I don't think so. Yeah, it's too big to me. Fox turtle. Let me see. A well, female. Nice colored one. Yeah, really pretty one. Come here. Female uh -uh. box turtle. Alright. 
She went back under. Yeah. Uh, I don't see anybody. Uh-uh. I'm sure you see these boards in our videos. Yep. That's where, like, the, I think the six is in one of these two boards. Here. Hopefully there's one's here today. Yeah, we'll have a little baby. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, that well, one's in the shed. Be, there it is, buddy. <clears throat> and I tell you what, let's get some pictures here. I'm thinking in situ if we can. It's a big old male, isn't it? It is. This is uh, our first timber rattlesnake for today. We actually found a copperhead not too far behind this guy. But this is an adult male tender rattlesnake. Uh, he is in blue and he is uh, in his defensive beehive posture. Uh, this is a nice, cloudy, grizzly day in Kentucky. Perfect to find these snakes, especially the ones that are looking for shelter while in blue. But really nice. And these snakes are already very not apt to bite. Just rattle them, let them know what we're here. Really close to Hope you found some more today. Alright, yeah. we're going to go ahead and put this board back over top of this snake so he can uh, finish out his shed, shed cycle. There you go, he buddy. has completely stopped rattling now. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, like shelter, humidity. Oftentimes a little, a little extra warmth thing get it. Yeah. All right. Whew. Here we go. No. Scales. I do like these pieces we've got up here. Yep. No. Oh, actually, the long tail under there. Was there? Yeah, right there. Oh, yep. Sure enough. Cool. Almost didn't Make see him. You want to get this one? Yeah, I'll get that one yeah, I like this setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what you call OPM. Just so y'all know. Optimum? Other people's metal. Oh. So let's flip it. Nope. Got two pieces on. You want to get those? We go that direction after yeah. we're trying. Yeah, we yeah. can yeah. go. Let's get these at the bottom. You can see the clearing from here. Okay. That piece is probably a little too flat on the ground. Yeah, just that one. Not barrel, Joe. Mm hmm. Oh, the big ass little spider, do you see it? We okay, got those three, we got this one here. Yep, three up there. No. And what did they say that copper hit under, didn't it? Yeah, there's one over there. Oh, I can see a little bit of boards too. I can see that tape. But these I do like up here. This is where we found that last cup head last time. What's this piece? Yeah. I love this too. There's a little big wolf spider. The fuck is that? that <laughs> shit on me. Yeah. I don't remember moving it, but it looks like it's been moved. Yeah. I think it's a 
about a worm snake or earth snake, milk snake. Yeah. And all we can do is kind of root around through it. Yeah. Definitely. It's another lost board. Okay. Well, which okay. way to the last site? Shed scoop. Oh, sure There's another long tail right there. Oh, sure enough, there. Well, the range bringing them out in. Mm -hmm. What is it? Another yeah. long tail salamander. It's number two. Leaves. Nope. The last couple ones, didn't we? Yep. The bowl. Oh, Shocker copperhead right there. Oh, I, didn't see see I didn't see him either. That yeah. one's a really pretty one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you want to get pictures of that one? Here is a uh, copperhead. This one is actually not in shed like the last one was. Didn't find another timber, but finding a nice uh, not in shed copperhead is always nice. This one looks to be a uh, adult male based on the tail, and also it's not grabbed as the females would be, and it's not super and deflated like a. Uh, Grab it female would be after giving birth. Uh, really nice, pretty snake. He is a little bit defensive. Go ahead. Nice cotton mouth found today. A bit wet out. Just got done raining and we just uh, got this guy to stop crawling. He's actually in blue at pretty late stages of blue. I say he'll probably shed in the next few days or so. Uh, he was actually next to a female who was about, what, three feet away-ish? Yeah. Three to four feet. And uh, she unfortunately got away down a hole, but hopefully we'll come back later and might find her. A uh, really neat looking snake. Definitely a big male. Uh, but yeah. Cottonmouth from Kentucky. So here's our uh, second snake we're actually getting video of. This is actually our uh, tip snake for today. This one's a really defensive individual, unlike the other one we got video of earlier. And the other one, uh, number 11, which we haven't gotten pictures or photos of yet, uh, we'll be getting a video of that one here shortly, probably right after this clip of this one. Yeah, really defensive snake. This one's also in blue. He hasn't actually struck the phone yet. My hand's uh, about two feet away. Very it. apt to bite, or not very apt to bite. Really nice, uh, smaller body cottonmouth. Looks to be a young male. Oh yeah, cottonmouth. Here is uh, the eleventh cottonmouth. This is probably the biggest one for today. This one's more on the defensive side as well, just not as bad as the second one that you've seen inside this, uh, the first clip. Yeah. This one's a lot bigger, a lot older. Really nice old looking snake. Really nice good looking snake. Cottonmouth. He's like trying to open his mouth a little bit. There he goes. Very neat. But he's actually calmed down, down quite a bit. He almost got away when we first got him out. Very nice. Oh, just like the other one, very not apt to bite. Very nice. Cottonmouth get a bad rap a lot of the time. Unfortunately, a lot of local people will kill him once they see him. Luckily, the spot we're at right now, uh, they seem to be getting their uh, population back and getting more confident on being inside this area. Unlike it was before. But really nice. Hopefully see this guy again in another year or two. Alright, so here is a neonate cottonmouth. Uh, this is a very nice find for us today. Uh, this is something we were definitely hoping to see. This one is pretty uh, much on the move. Not really wanting to hold still. There he goes. 
Dustin right now is distracting him so I can get a little bit of a better video of him. Really interesting and curious little snake. But as you can see, the babies have that bright yellow tail. They use that as a cordial lure for their food, which is uh, small frogs and uh, insects. Very nice. But we hope to see this uh, snake again. Or maybe even its brothers or sisters. Thank you.